Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you are new around here uh, and you haven't actually seen my channel before, then uh, feel free to check out some of my previous videos. I've done unboxing videos, I've done tutorials, there's bashing videos on there. Uh, I'm starting to build a, a collection now. So uh, yeah, definitely feel free to take a look at some of my other videos. Uh, if you do enjoy those and you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so the purpose of today then is to take a look at this Sky RC uh, GSM 015. Now, uh, this is a uh, GPS uh, speedometer, speed meter, whatever you guys choose to call it. This is purpose made, purpose built for uh, the RC application. Guys, it's a well known fact that uh, many RC manufacturers actually put uh, the speed of what their uh, model is actually capable of on the front of the box, uh, on the front of the model's box. Now, uh, this is a claimed figure by the manufacturer themselves. Uh, we don't know if this is true. We don't know if this is a marketing tactic, you know, a way for you to buy the vehicle and it doesn't actually make that speed. So again, this is one of the reasons why you may want one of these to actually check to see if the claimed speed is 100% uh, legit and you are actually getting uh, the speed claimed by the manufacturer. So guys, this thing does actually have some really nice features that definitely stand out. So uh, obviously you have the uh, top speed feature so you can see how fast your RC is actually going. Uh, this has an average speed feature and this also has uh, a way to record the altitude as well. You may be wondering, why do I need to record the altitude on a RC car? Well guys, this isn't just for RC cars, this can also be used on uh, planes as well to record how fast your planes actually go in and how fast you, uh, how high you've actually gone with it. I don't see why you couldn't actually use this on a quadcopter as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could, you know, if, if the quadcopter is big enough. Uh, this doesn't weigh a huge amount, you know, so I'm pretty sure you could actually apply this to a uh, quadcopter as well. So guys, there are many options available to actually record your speed. Uh, you know, there's there's other GPS uh, equipment that can you can actually use. You know, there's uh, some uh, GPS uh, devices, you know, which runners use. There's many different things you could actually use for the, uh, to record your RC speed. You could use your phone as well. Uh, but I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to put a thousand pound sp uh, smartphone on an RC car. Uh, if you if you're going some serious speed and that thing comes off you're going to ruin your you know your very expensive smartphone guys so yeah there are many different options available to you the reason this is nice and the reason that uh, another feature that really does stand out this actually uses gps but it also uses glonass as well uh, which i believe is another russian uh, satellite uh, so the the benefit behind this is you, you're going to have two separate satellite signals uh, which are going to be beaming their way to this thing you know so it's going to be very very accurate indeed guys this does have a 10 hertz uh, refresh rate as well so there's not going to be a huge delay uh, you know this thing is going to be on point it's going to tell you how fast your rc is going and uh, yeah you're never going to have any issues with this thing uh, there all the other reviews that i've read or watched uh, really do praise this thing so i actually got this from banggood uh, when i ordered it it was 49 pounds that's 49 pounds in the uk uh, i'm not sure what that will be in your currency but banggood are selling it for 49 pounds uh, so this thing did take you know about five weeks to actually turn up which is a little bit annoying but i do find that where this is such a popular item uh, it does go out of stock quite quick so if you do want one of these you must get your order in quick I believe they are still in stock today. I did have a check before actually recording the video. They are still in stock. So if you do actually want one of these, definitely grab one quickly. Also guys, another nice feature, uh, you can actually plug this into your computer. Uh, and once you've plugged it into your computer, you can actually uh, get a log of the GPS coordinates. You can um, basically get a map I believe uh, it's the Bing search engine. You can use Bing maps to actually track where the RC has traveled. It's a very nice feature and it's definitely something you can look at when you've come home from bashing your RC. Guys, also this thing is upgradable. Uh, there, there are firmware updates and uh, even on the package it does say that this thing will be upgradable. So um, yeah, you know, it's definitely future proof. If SkyRC release an update for this, then you can use the included USB cable to actually update it. So guys, obviously you don't get a huge amount in the box. Obviously you get the Speedo itself. You get a USB cable and a manual for this as well. There's not a huge amount that you get in the box, but you wouldn't expect to get a huge amount in the box because, you know, it's all pretty much there anyway. Uh, it's quite a nice package, quite nicely packed. 
and I'm uh, very pleased with it. Guys, what I'm going to do, even though there's not a huge amount in the box, I am going to take it out of the box to show you, uh, show you a couple of little close-ups of the unit itself. And then uh, we'll probably call it a day, guys, to be fair. Uh, I'm not going to be testing this out today. My plans are on the next video, hopefully, to actually get this thing out and give it a test. Uh, I'm probably going to test this on my Armour Granite. Um, now, there's a little bit of a story behind that, but I'm not going to go into uh, detail on that one today. Uh, I will explain in more detail my reasons for actually trying this thing out on the granite first on the next video that I do. Uh, if it's not the next video, hopefully the video after that. Well guys, so as you see there, obviously you see a couple of little close-ups of what's included in the box. Obviously there's not a huge amount, everything you need is right there for you. Uh, there's no waste of packaging. So uh, yeah, this is a really nice unit guys. I'm very excited to actually test it out and actually post my results as well. It does feel very durable, so if this thing does come off you know, at high, quite a high speed, I would like to think this will actually survive the impact and it, you wouldn't have wasted your money. Guys, I'm going to leave it there today. This was just a very quick basic video just outlining uh, some of the reasons why you might want one of these and uh, yeah as I said you know it's a way for you to uh, check to see if the claimed figure by the manufacturer is actually true uh, it's also a way for you to prove or a way for you to check the speed that you're actually getting out of your RC is the speed that you want to achieve you may set your limit at 70 miles an hour 100 miles an hour this thing is going to help you uh, with your project if you're aiming for a 100 mile an hour uh, speed run for example this is going to help you on your way and make sure that you actually uh, reach your goal guys guys i hope you enjoyed today's video as i said at the start of the video be sure to follow uh, beyond rc on instagram hit the subscribe button guys if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see on the channel also leave a comment down below i've got loads planned for the future can't wait to take you on my journey guys and i will see you again on the next one take care